Hello there everyone and welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane and today what I want to show you is what I've been playing around with for a couple of weeks. It is Quixel Mega Scans and the Quixel Suite. In case you missed the announcement, recently Epic Games bought out Quixel and since then Epic have gone on to say that if you're using it in any of your Unreal projects, like um, this one here for instance, then you can use the Quixel stuff for free, including Mixer and the Mega Scans asset, which is pretty amazing. So what I wanted to do is just show you how quickly you can use the Mega Scans asset to just texture something in Unreal Engine, and that's what we'll do today. So you can see I've created this little—it's a living room basically—and uh, the reason this exists is because the missus wanted to buy a new sofa, and we weren't sure whether or not it would fit. So I created a mock-up of my living room so that we could visualize it. And uh, what we worked out is that the sofa wouldn't really fit. Here's the, the sofa. The sofa doesn't fit very well, but, but she bought it anyway. So, a um, bit of a waste of time. At least I can use it to show you some texturing. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to show you is, so if we open Bridge, and this is the application you can use to download the assets from Megascans, and then you can put them straight into any project. So here we are now, this is what it looks like. And you see there's all kinds of crazy crap on here. You've got a barrel, got a tree trunk, potato, that looks like he's been kissed by someone. Potato fetish. Got a chisel, because why not? Why not? Um, but I want to use it to texture that room that we've created. Now I've got it all set up. If you want a tutorial on this, you'll have to let me know. Uh, I just kind of want to show you the workflow. So I've already, if we go to downloaded, you can see these are some of the things that I've got already that I've had a little play around with. And one thing that I want to find is a wooden floor to put onto the floor of that living room I've created. So if I just search up here, in fact, let's go back to, just go to latest to get out of what I've acquired. And we'll search for wooden floor. See what it brings up. Okay, and you can see it gives you lots of previews of the different materials you can work with. Uh, I wanna try something different. I had like, I think that one or something similar to that one. So we'll try something different this time. Uh, oh, let's try that. So here's how we do it. We click on it. Remember, this is all free because I'm logged in using my Epic account. And then I can choose to download it, which is pretty straightforward. You can change some of the settings on download if you want to or need to. I don't want or need to, so I'll let it download. And then once that's done, I'll show you how you export it to Unreal Engine. So this is now finished downloading. It took a while because as you can see, I left the texture resolution at 8K. I didn't really need 8K. I could have dropped it down to 2K and it would have been fine. Uh, but what the heck, we'll use it at 8K. I still won't export it to Unreal Engine at 8K because it is overkill. So we'll go to our export settings, which just lives over here. And there you can see I'm choosing to export it at 2K. The texture format of JPEG is fine. Then what I want to do is tell it what I'm exporting to. So Unreal Engine is already there because that's what I've been using. The version I've currently got installed is 4.22, and you have to tell it which folder that Unreal Engine installed to to get the plugin to work. So now before I can actually get this to send over using what I think it's called the live link, we need to go into Unreal Engine, and you can see that I've already got the plugin installed, and if I just click on this, it opens that. As long as that window's open, I should be able to send it no bother. So let's put that to the test. So we'll go back to Bridge, Click on export. It says exporting to Unreal Engine. So it looks like the first thing it needs to do on this one is to convert the textures, which doesn't normally happen or hasn't happened to me yet. But what it's really doing is making sure that this is ready to go to Unreal Engine. So now that's exported successfully, I'll go back to Unreal Engine and hopefully we can see that this is now being imported on the other side. The thing to remember is that the first time that something is exported from bridge into a real engine it creates a master material and the first time it does that the first time it sets that up it takes longer to import than it does for all the others that you might do following that so the first one always takes longer and you can see this is actually taking a little while it's probably because i'm also recording at the same time uh, and then when it's done you'll be able to see how that works okay so this is now finished importing everything and you can see it's imported the texture files there and we've also got the material and it's all been set up. And if we now go back to our content folder, you can see it's created a mega scans folder. So it organizes it all for you, which is good. And then if we go in there, you've got different materials. So it creates this master material. You can see there's some for different types. We've just got a, a basic master material for this one. If we go 
back to our surface and this is where we've got that material that we want. So what I'm going to do, i just move this out of the way, is apply this to the floor. So if I select this and I just give that material a little click there, that will now start to compile the shaders again. And then when it's done, we'll be able to see that shader applied with very little effort really. That's now finished compiling all the shaders and you can see that that's put the material on there pretty nicely. It looks very handsome, I think. That is a damn fine looking floor, but there is more that we can do to it because I think that this needs to be tiled a little bit more to fit. So the way that we do that is if we open the material, it's actually a material instance and there are loads of settings in it that we can mess with. Just for now, the only one that I'm really interested in is tiling. And what I can do is just turn it on and then with the slider, I can tile this as many times as I want. And I think about two looks good. So I'll round that up just because I like round numbers. There we go. I've got that, but you can also change things like you can add a bit of color, you can crop it if you want. Uh, you can also change the normal intensity to make things look bumpier. So if we, we do that, that kind of makes things look a little bit rougher. And there's different settings on different types of materials as well. So if I wanted to just add a colored overlay to it, so let's say we want to give it red for some reason, I don't know why you would, uh, but that's entirely possible. So that's just a quick introduction to uh, the Quixel stuff, mega scans, the materials, and how quickly you can texture stuff. What I'll do now is I'll add textures to the rest of the room, and I'll just put that on the time lapse so you can see what I'm doing, and then I'll come back when I'm done and I'll say bye to you. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so there we go. This is the, the room finished, as as I've put it. So we've got, um, the, the texture on the walls is a material that simulates paint on plaster, which is what I have. Got a very fancy looking floor, got a nice material looking material, <laughs> a nice fabric material on the sofas, got some wood, and it all just took a, a couple of clicks. Because I'd taken a bit of time to UV map, then they came out all right. Um, obviously some things could be tweaked a little bit more in UV mapping. I think I've got some of the, the UVs facing the wrong way. Um, but this was only ever supposed to be a quick project and I've made it look a lot better by spending 10 minutes on finding good materials. There are also other things that you can get from Bridge like 3D models and texture atlases. It's well worth you looking at. And if you're using Unreal Engine 4, then you get it all for free. So you've got nothing to lose. Right, that's all I wanted to show you today. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. I want to say thank you to all my patrons whose support helps me to continue doing mental things like this. And I'm also thinking about starting a new series. I need to upgrade my PC because it's not great. Is anyone interested in seeing the process of me doing that? Creating a, a PC for 3D art and game development purposes. Starting with what I've got now and then kind of working up to getting something better. If you care about that, let me know in the comments down below and maybe we'll do that series. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think I should just sign off. So hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye.